Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this set of tutorials, we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions and we are now looking at lesson six, sum if. So please check out the previous videos. We've looked at formatting and defining cell names or ranges of cells. Uh, we looked at using basic formulas and functions, including sum and creating graphs using absolute cell referencing, which we'll be again using again in, uh, in this sum if uh, tutorial. The last tutorial was count functions. So let's go to lesson six and have a look and see what we're going to be doing in this video. Okay. So task one, use the sum if function to work out the attempts based on a criteria. So before we start, we need to write down um, attempts from one to 10. So this is going to be for javelin. Okay. So I'm just going to type in um, any numbers between one and 10. Okay, there we go. So what we have here are pupil names, their form class. So these are the different criteria now, their gender, their year group, and the amount of attempts they made for javelins. So javelin is like where you have to throw um, something and see who gets the furthest distance. Okay, it's like a long stick with a little spear at the end. So before we start the sum if function, okay, let me show you how the sum works again. So let's say we've got some random numbers. Um, equal sum will basically add up everything. Okay, so that will add up all of these numbers together. The sum if we want to add with a criteria. Okay, and in the first example, um, we want to add up the attempts made by only year 11 students. So we've got year 11 here, here here and here and in year 12 we got these two attempts here so what i'm going to do just for this first example is i'm going to highlight the year 11 values okay so it should be 2 plus 7 which is 9 plus um 9 18 uh plus 5 um 23 so the year 11 attempts should equal up um, to 23. So what I'm going to do is use the sum if. And there's three parts to the sum if. There's a range. So where is the criteria? So the criteria is in this range here. I'm going to click up here and do this formula. Click on comma. Where is the criteria? So in this example here, guys, I actually can't click on this cell here because it's not the same as uh, what we have here. So I'm just going to change that to, um, or put that into um, speech marks for the criteria. And the sum range is what is it that we're looking to add up? We're looking to add up the attempts made by year 11. Okay, let me close uh, the bracket and press enter and we've got 23, fantastic. But now what we're going to do, guys, that's probably the long way of doing this. I'm going to make these um, criteria match up. Um, so I don't want year, I, I just, just want 11 to show. Uh, let's put it in the middle. And 12 to show. Okay. And I'm also going to match up um, the criteria for male and female. And I think I've done the female. Actually, let's just get rid of that. I can make it bigger, see if there's anything else. Right, this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this with the um, absolute cell referencing. I'm going to drag it down. So equals, I'm not sure why it keeps, yeah, let's just do up here. Equals, sum if. Again, let's look at the three parts. So the range is where are we looking for the criteria. So the criteria is 11 and it falls within this range of cells here. I will be doing absolute cell referencing, but I'm going to show you what happens if you don't lock the criteria. Now we can click on this cell here and the sum range is what is it you're looking to add from. So it's going to be attempts. So the first one should work. We've got 23. We drag this down and we have a value here and it looks like it's worked. But then if I double click on the cell, you can see these two ranges have moved out of position. They're not locked into here from this cell E7 all the way to E13. It's not locked so what we can do is we can lock these two ranges so let me highlight 
this blue range of cells. Um, let me lock. And let me highlight the sum range and let me lock. So you can see the purple range refers to this range of cells here and a blue range refers to this range of cells here. Now, if I drag this down, still the same uh, value, you've got 11, but then if I double click, you can see these ranges of cells have been locked into position. The only thing that's different is the criteria, which is relative to the position of this cell here. Okay, let's keep going, let's do more examples. So let's find out um, the attempts by males. So I'm gonna click up here, so sum if. Okay, so the range is where is male and female, and it's going to be in this range of cells. Let's lock it now. So that's not going to move anywhere. Here's the criteria. And then uh, the sum range, we're still adding the attempts. And then this also needs to be fixed and locked into position. So again, you can use absolute cell referencing. So remember my keyboard is function F4. On your keyboard, it might be shift and F4 or command and F4. If you can't do it, then you would have to manually, uh, manually put the dollar signs in before the letter and a number. Okay. So female attempts, that's not worked because um, I've got space after female. So let me just get rid of that space. And we've got 17 attempts from female. So five plus nine, 14 plus the three, 17. Just check if we've got anything after here, the space. Right, let's do the last one in this example. So click up here, sum if. Uh, where are the forms? So for the range, the forms uh, fall in this range of cells. So we can highlight, we can lock it. The criteria is going to be in this cell here. Sum range, what we're looking to add. Again, it's going to be the attempts. And we can lock, close the bracket, press enter, job done. So from 11 boys red, We've got two attempts there, seven attempts or nine, plus the five, we get to 14. Yes, that's working. So it's always useful to double check to see if everything is working as it should. Okay, let me just send for a line. Right, I'll just do some more examples here, guys, and then I'll leave you to it. Um, so task two is use the summary function to work out the sales and total figures based on the criteria. So we've got two columns that we need to use as for the sum ranges and you can obviously see the colors but these two are going to refer to this column and the green will refer to this one here so we have phones we have the brand we have the year release we have the price so the total is going to be the price let me just why is keep doing that for this um, example here so let's click up here it's going to be price times sales Uh, get rid of that pound sign. Yeah, it's worked. So I don't know why uh, I put a pound sign in manually. So let me just get rid of that. Um, and then we'll format it to currency in a second. There we go. So let's put the pound sign in uh, using this method instead. Um, pound sign and drag this down. Okay, so what we want to do is work out the sales by brand. So again, sum if. Remember, there's three parts to the formula, the range. Where is the criteria? Sony, Samsung, and Apple. It falls within this range of cells here. Let's lock it. Comma. The criteria is in this position here, which will change when we drag down uh, this formula or function. Comma. Sum range. What we're looking to add from. We want to add from the sales. So again, this needs to be locked so it stays in the same position when we lock, uh, drag down, replicate this function. So 77. So anytime we see Sony, we go across, we add up this value. And then if we see Sony here, we add up this value here. So 54 plus 23 should be 77. Drag down. Okay. Um, we'll do the total for the brands as well. Or oh, let's do it for the years. So we're going to look at here. So equals some if again. The range of cells. Let me just click here again. Um, equals sum if. 
So this is going to be the criteria. Okay, where can you see that criteria? You can see that criteria in this range of cells here. Let's lock it. What is the criteria? So the criteria is here, 2012. So what we're going to do is look in this range of cells. When you see 2012, we're gonna then we'll go to the total and we'll add up this value. And if you see 2012 again, we'll add it to this value here. So it should be like, uh, it's, I'm trying to think, 18, 19,000, something like that. Um, comma, some range, let's take the value from here. Yeah, 18,000. And we can make this into currency. It's nearly 19,000, actually. Right, and just to finish off, we want to add up everything now apart from 2014. So same thing what we did in the count if we're going to use a less than more than signs within the speech marks. So sum if, where's the range? So the range is still the same. We don't need to lock anything because we're not dragging anything down now. For the criteria, speech marks less than more than, not 2014. So it's going to count, or not count, it's going to add up everything else apart from uh, we, when we see 2014. So here, we're not going to go across and add this value. But when we see 2013 and anything else, we'll go across and add up all of these values. So sum range um, is going to be this one here. Close, uh, lock, no, we don't need to lock. And in close to speech mark here. So for the criteria, yeah, and in close to speech mark. So you've got the range. This is where we're looking up for the years. We don't want to add 2014. We want to add everything else. And we're adding from this range of cells here. Let's close the brackets. And job done. So this is basically everything apart from 2014. Um, I'll do the not HTC as well, guys. Just, um, just before I finish off. So again, some if. No need to lock anything because there's only one cell. Where can you see the brands? We can see them um, here. Comma, speech marks for the criteria. Um, we need to do less than more than HTC. Close the speech mark, comma, and then we want to add from the total. Close the brackets, job done. And then you can uh, just apply the formatting. And hopefully you guys have understood and how to use the summary function and also use absolute cell referencing as well as part of this function where you can lock cells and then replicate the function rather than having to do it individually. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. Please join me in the next video where we're going to be looking at the average if, which is very similar to the sum if, but rather than adding, we're going to be working out the average based on the criteria instead. So please drop your comments below. Um, thank you for joining me and please help share these videos and good luck if you have exams coming up soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye.